Hey guys, Video James, and today I'm going to talk about something that many of us internet goers are probably very familiar with and all appreciate a lot. A bridge series. Now, if you don't know what an abridged series is, then listen up because I'm going to tell you what it is in a few seconds. A bridge series are basically just. They're basically like a kind of redoing of a series that's already been made. Like in, say a content creator watched a specific TV show and they thought this could be funnier if retold from a different kind of angle and perspective and then they made their own version from that perspective. That's basically what a abridged series is. And a lot of the times they have a lot of jokes in them and a lot of kind of poking fun at themselves kind of jokes. And they have just a lot of humor in them and a lot of kind of teasing the original show or kind of teasing the concept. But they also do contain a lot of satire a lot of the time. That a lot of abridged series kind of have satire that the original show tried to point out. Or the original show didn't point out, but they managed to find out from the original show with bits and pieces. And they are honestly some of the best things ever. Because when you watch an abridged series, it's like you're watching something all over again and you're getting a more clear kind of perspective on how they look. So, like say I was watching Sword Art Online and I absolutely hated it, and then I watched the abridged series and I'm like, hey, that's pretty good. And that's basically what they are. Abridged series are basically a redoing of an original series. And a lot of the times they can end up either making something better or keeping at the same level it was before. Like, again, Sora Online. The abridged series, thousand times better than the original. Just, the abridged series brought that show up so high that when I watched the first episode of the original, I was saying, no. And another example probably being White Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge. That Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge took, like, what was around a hundred episodes and shortened it into 75 and that really impressed me and a lot of the times they do end up getting a lot of attention because again they're a redoing of a series and they kind of redo concepts and all that but they are very good and a bridge series kind of again redo a show and kind of remake the concept of the show while adding in a little bit of satire and a little bit of comedy into it and they do actually make a lot of attention kind of stir up. That abridged series kind of stir up a lot of attention about the original series or just a specific clip will stir up an attention and then people will want to go look up the original series and then eventually people will just all around, if they haven't seen the original series, go back and watch the original after seeing the abridged. So to give a few examples of abridged series that are like, um, let me think of one. A Sword Art Online example, because I honestly can't think of anything, really. Um, Sword Art Online really is better than the show to me for multiple reasons. For one thing, it's funnier. Just, the original Sword Art Online was so dry on comedy and so lackluster that it basically kind of just threw itself into a pit hole. And... The character dialogue, too, in Sword Art Online was really bad, but then when I watched the Abridged series, well, when I watched the Abridged series, I realized it was a lot more kind of cohesive dialogue, and that it all stuck together a little better, and that the comedy was enhanced a thousand times over. That the comedy actually brought up, was brought up about, I'd say, a thousand times, and it actually did make it look a whole lot better than the original series. And I'm sorry, I'm crapping on Sword Art Online so much, I know a lot of you guys out there probably like it, but I probably think that saying that probably made a lot more of you want to kill me. And, please don't by the way, I'm, I'm with the side that probably wants to kill me right now. Sword Art Online, bad. Bad Sword Art Online. No, go away. But, um, another example of an abridged series would probably be... Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridge. That's the example I'm using now. Because I honestly can't think of another one that I'd rather see. Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge was very funny in the way that they took the show and kind of poked fun at it and kind of made it kind of make fun of itself. And they drew kind of a point from what the show was trying to say. And then they made fun of that too. Basically the entire Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge kind of made fun of the original 
and kind of reconfigured every kind of concept into the Bridge series kind of own concept. And I agree it was kind of more the original Yu-Gi-Oh that kind of had the concepts, but again, it didn't really. That original Yu-Gi-Oh kind of didn't really bring the concepts out, it kind of just left them sitting in the dust. But the Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge series actually is a lot more straightforward, the comedy is a lot more pronounced, there's actually a lot more jokes, and the characters have a lot better developed um, characters that are a lot funnier, they have a lot more personality, and they're all just kind of like your basic kind of characters, and it is actually really funny that the original Yu-Gi-Oh! didn't really have that much comedy, but it was still funny at points it wanted to be. And another thing about a bridge series is they shorten stuff a lot, that a bridge series usually tend to be shorter than what they're abridging, that in a bridge series like Yu-Gi-Oh! could be 75, whereas the original Yu-Gi-Oh! series, encompassing all the same episodes, would be like 100, or 104 or something. And that's really impressive, that they can take the main concept of all of those videos, and all those episodes, and shorten it down so much. And not even having the same length for every video, that they have shorter lengths for every video, that they have from 4 minutes to 10 minutes, and stuff like that. That it just makes it a lot more fun. And another thing about a bridge series is that they inspire a lot of spin-off creation. That a bridge series kind of do inspire creations based off of the abridged series, like with um, with Sword Art Online's bridge, there was the Kirito Was Always Right Foundation. With Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge, there was Brooklyn Rage, there was Pharaoh's Throne, there was Leather Pants. Um, it just it inspires a whole bunch of creation, and that's one thing that's so great about a bridge series, is that they inspire creation through creation, and it really does kind of make stuff look really amazing, because they inspire people to just keep creating, keep making new stuff out of old stuff, and it just, it really looks amazing to me when people do that, because it makes it so that everything was never a waste, that nothing ever that we've ever done could ever be a waste now, because we're reusing it, and turning it into this whole new kind of contraption, and we're getting a new whole thing out of it. But, a bridge series, just in my opinion, amazing. They're absolutely awesome. And there's a, a bridge series for almost about everything. Like, I remember I looked up a bridge series today, and there was actually a bunch of Transformers abridged. And I was shocked, because I did not think there would be Transformers abridged. But, someone managed to shorten up the first three movies into a minute and a half, of just abridged stuff, and I will leave a link to that in the description, but it was actually kind of funny and kind of nice to kind of see what they did. I'm still laughing. I'm laughing because I'm thinking about it in my head and it's coming back and it's kind of bringing back the memories, but anyway, I'm leaving this video here. I kind of, I kind of had a bit of a brain fart there in the middle, but we got through it. We got through the entire video and we're here now, so we finished, but anyway, I'm leaving this video here. Again, I'll leave a link down to the Transformers Abridged in the description, as well as Sword Art Online Abridged and Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged. And if you guys did like this video, you can give me a little slap on the like button, and I will see you guys later.